How to prevent teenage pregnancy. Teen pregnancy rates have been falling over the last couple of years, in large part because parents and schools have been better than ever before about giving teens as many tools as possible to make smart choices. Evidence of effective ways to prevent teen pregnancy is overwhelmingly in favor of a comprehensive education and good communication. Preventing pregnancy as a teen. Educate yourself about pregnancy. Start by educating yourself about how pregnancy starts. Many studies have found that the better education you have regarding how sex and pregnancy work, the better able you will be to make good decisions regarding sex. You can find lots of high-quality information online using sources like Mayo Clinic and Wikipedia. The short version is that a man produces a substance in his body, called semen, which exits his body through the penis. This substance is deposited in a woman's vagina through sex or other means, where it combines with an egg in her uterus to form a baby. Women only have eggs in their uterus sometimes and even then, the egg doesn't always get what it needs from the semen. This is why you won't get pregnant every time you have sex. Bust some pregnancy myths. There are lots of myths about how you can get pregnant. If you know the truth from the facts, you'll be much better able to protect yourself. Remember, when in doubt, play it safe. It's better to wait until you have proper protection than risk getting pregnant because of something you read on Tumblr. Myth, you can't get pregnant if you have sex during your period. Your body will usually release an egg halfway in between your periods, dot, but loads of women can have an egg release just about any time in their cycle. In fact, this method may be more likely to get some women pregnant, so don't rely on this to help you. Myth, you can't get pregnant if you use the pull-out method. The pull-out method is when the guy pulls his penis out of the vagina before ejaculating or coming, orgasming and releasing his semen. The problem is that the penis will release fluid before ejaculation that can still get a girl pregnant. Using the pull-out method is very unreliable and for most people, the chances of getting pregnant with this form of birth control is about 30%. Myth, you can't get pregnant if you use certain positions or have sex in certain places. It doesn't matter if you're having sex in a pool, hot tub or if the girl is on top during sex. If there's a penis in a vagina, pregnancy can happen, myth, you can get pregnant if you do, blank, afterwards, unless that blank is filled with medication or medical devices like Plan B or an IUD, then this is a total myth. Jumping jacks, douching, showering, peeing, eating certain foods, you name it, these things won't help keep you from getting pregnant. Be abstinent as much as you can. We don't want to sound like that guy at your church, but abstinence really is your best bet at not getting pregnant. Even the most effective forms of birth control only work most of the time. If you want to guarantee that you won't get pregnant, find other ways of getting sexual release that don't involve penetration. Pregnancy isn't the only risk of sex, either. It's important to remember that. You also need to be safe and use protection to keep yourself from getting STDs. There are also merits to taking things slow, in your relationship. While sex is fun and feels good, it adds a lot of complication. You might think you'll have fewer problems once you start having sex but really you'll have more. This is why, if you can make it work, it's better to stay abstinent until you're in a place in your life where you're better able to deal with those complications. Find other ways to get sexual release. Full, penetrative sex isn't the only way to get sexual release. If you don't have access to birth control or if you just want to be super sure that you don't get pregnant or get anyone else pregnant, try other ways of getting physical that don't lead to babies. Try something like mutual masturbation. This is where you stimulate yourself in front of your partner or you stimulate each other. As long as no penetration occurs and the mons semen is kept away from the vagina, no pregnancy can occur. This is also relatively safe in terms of protecting you from disease. You can try something like oral or anal sex. This should still be done with a condom, however, because both can still spread disease and infections. Talk to a trusted adult. Talk to an adult that you trust about sex, sexual health, relationships, and pregnancy. They should at least be able to give you some advice. They might even be able to help you find resources so that you can better protect yourself from getting pregnant. Schedule some private time to talk with them and then tell them why you want to talk. It might be awkward at first and it might take more than one conversation, but you'll find that having someone who can help you will make you much more comfortable and happy. 
Say something like, Brian, I'm not comfortable going to mom and dad, but I really want to get intimate with my girlfriend and I'm worried about her getting pregnant. Can you help me choose the right condoms? Find independent care. In lots of states, you can get birth control from doctors and pharmacies without your parents legally needing to be told. If you don't feel comfortable talking to your family about your situation, make an appointment with an organization like Planned Parenthood. They'll educate you and get you everything that you need at a price you can afford, so that your parents don't need to know about what you're doing. You can find your local Planned Parenthood clinic by visiting their website. If you live outside the U.S. or in an area not serviced by Planned Parenthood, check with your local health department to get advice about what services might be available to you. Stay away from drugs and alcohol. There are lots of reasons that you might want to stay away from drugs and alcohol, but one of the major ones is that both can lead you to make really bad decisions. When you're drunk or high, your brain doesn't work as well as normal that's why it feels so good. This means that while you might normally make the smart choice and use a condom, your drunk brain doesn't even consider it. You also have to worry about what might happen while you're passed out. When you've had so much alcohol or enough drugs to make it so that you can't move or are passed out, you have no control over what other people do to your body. For example, more than 20% of teen pregnancies were the result of sex that was influenced by alcohol.